Can you hear that? The millions and millions chanting his name. That's right. They smell what he's cooking. A bit of a test of strength here. The offense of Batista is working well right now. And he does it one more time. You know, Batista has the skill to develop any move or hold into a finisher, which makes the Batista bomb that much more intimidating. You know, it's like free falling backwards from a bridge and crashing on concrete. And Batista has taken control. Tie up. Only one can come out ahead. Batista making a move. From behind. And here's Batista. Batista bomb is truly like no other power bomb variation we've ever seen. And by what happens to those who go down from it, it's like nothing they've ever felt either. The animal has had a career of dominance, and the Batista bomb has been a large part of that. Now momentum is in the corner of the rock. And it's the rock with the reversal. He's still not through. These no DQ matches are so dangerous. Here we go, outside of the ring, and there are no countouts in this match. Now back under the ring, looking for another object of some sort. What's he going to do with that steel chair? Batista going to work now. Oh, it might be time to run. That's a cane in his hand. And a vicious shot from that cane. Oh! He's not exactly popping up to his feet here. Well, what do you expect, Michael? Did you see what just happened? The offense of Batista is working well right now. Batista has had numerous altercations in his WWE travels. One that began in 2003 was when the animal set his sights on a heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels. Batista wanted to put an end to everything Shawn Michaels stood for and eliminate. Great counter. There's the cut. And he kicks out of it. With over two decades of Royal Rumble pay-per-views, each year's event here at... Oh, my God, she stopped it. Man, I thought it was done for. The Rock gets dropped. Wow, very uncharacteristic to see the great one go down like that. Wow, if he keeps this up, this could be over quick. He's having a seriously hard time getting back to his feet after that. Well, as they say, all's fair in love and war. You know, Batista zeroed in on Shawn Michaels from the very beginning. I mean, Batista couldn't even be in Evolution and not have the Heartbreak Kid in his sight. That was only the beginning because in the end, their war was about pride. And that doesn't get resolved after just one match. We got a cover. And he kicks out. The tension, the drama. This is electric. Incredible counter. 
Batista going to work now. Will it be? I'd get out of the way right about now. Oh! King, did you see that? Oh, man, it doesn't get much closer than that. And he gets back in. And he gets back in the ring. Batista looking to ignite the fuse. And Batista makes him pay for all that. He got that shoulder up in time. This won't make any friends. Batista turns it around. This could do it. Batista quickly getting the shoulder up. These competitors trying to keep their wits about them. What's he doing? What's he doing with those steps? Again, this is no disqualification. That's right. If he finds an object under that ring, it's just as legal as a headlock. Just steal steps again. And here's those vicious steel steps again. You be careful with that thing. Uh-oh. Look where he's going again. There's that kendo stick again. Back into the ring now. Steel chair in the ring. Come on, put that down. Chair being used as a weapon. Oh, right off a skull. Oh, my God. And I think it's obvious that he'll stop at nothing to win here tonight. Every time he has to get up, it takes more and more effort. Somehow, someway, he figured out a way to make this even more violent. King, I don't like the look in his eye. Uh, hey! Wow, he was just about to get his head taken off. The table! Trying to get under his opponent's skin with this one. What's he think he's going to do with that? He's heading back in. He's got the steel steps again. Using the steps as a weapon. The Rock is in position. What a move. The Rock has eyes to finish. Elbow. Thanks for playing. Shoulders down. Two. 